Hello guys, thank you for joining another one of my live streams. And lately I've been doing most of my live streams. You see I got the music now for like the ambiance, you know, just a little, adding to the little ambiance a little bit. But um, lately I have been doing live shows where I've been showing you beauty products and um, a lot of makeup and different things like that and skincare routines. So. And my skincare routine, updating you about that. I still have been using the products that I showed you in the very, very, very beginning. Um, and I do like these two products. Um, this is a vitamin C serum with hyaluronic acid um, from um, Genevieve MD. Right here. It'll show. Do I have to do it? Um, it comes in this little container, and you got to keep it in a cold and dark environment. And it's just a serum, regular vitamin C serum. It just has the hyaluronic acid. And again, I've said this multiple times, but it has sensitive skin, and it does, like, it is good for sensitive skin. It doesn't irritate me at all. And then I've still been using the Natural Retinol um, Alternative Serum by Labruna Skincare. Um, Nina by Labruna Skincare. And it is a handmade natural serum, so definitely good for sensitive skin, all natural products, and things like that. And what I love about these two products from buying them on the Vera Shop app is that you can go directly and see how to use the product, what the product has, the ingredients, and everything like that. So it really gives you a good description of if this product is right for you and how to use it how to implement it, and if you have sensitive skin like me, you can look at the ingredients directly and see if it's right for you. But my past, um, I want to, I've done a lot of live shows about beauty now, and I would say it's about like over six live shows about beauty. So um, this is another beauty live show. Uh, but if you are looking for the more fashion side of me, I definitely have another live show coming this week. Actually, tomorrow at 9 a.m. I know. You can, like, it, it's something to wake up to, you know. Sit in your bed, press the live stream, and just listen. Or actually look, because I'll be showing a couple of different outfits. Um, at least pairing these jeans I got. Oh, my gosh. These jeans are a statement piece and I'm going to be doing a couple of different things with them and I can't wait to show you these jeans guys oh my god beautiful patchwork everything okay I'm, I'm revealing too much but at 9 a.m tomorrow I will be doing a fashion live show and this will be like my last live stream in a while guys so these three shows I'm doing one now tonight and 9 a.m in the morning so hopefully you will wake up, click the button, and just join. <laughs> I know it's an awkward time. But again, for everybody that's joining now, if you are joining now, hello. You are now an honorary young butterfly if you are here with me talking about this. And young butterflies are just the people I call on my Instagram. Um, love y'all. <laughs> So it's just my little collective, my little group, and I love to talk to you guys. So if you follow me on Instagram or TikTok, feel free to DM me with any questions about the products, any questions about um, nice cl retro clothing. Like, I can find you the best retro clothing brands on the site. Trust me, I know them all. And any just general questions or if you just want to talk. So getting into this show now... We are going to do a little um, recap. So again, I mentioned these two products. These are the two serums that I have definitely been using these past, since I've got them. I want to say since I started the beauty live show. I want to say it was my first beauty live show, actually. So I've definitely been using these products. I did slack off this week, um, and, you know, my face is telling me I have. But I slacked off on my whole skincare routine. <laughs> But getting into the self-care and talk and everything like that, we have two products that are going to be 
vital on your self-care journey. So you can have your daily skincare routine, but what about the times where you just want to put on a mask, where you just want to vibe out, you know, put the cucumbers on your eyes um, (laughs) and just straight up relax. Again, I'm a firm believer in self-care is more than just something about more than just putting on a mask, um, a face mask and doing your nails. It's a lot more that goes into self-care and we should be doing these self-care practices every day. I actually want to like talk a little bit about that. Just a thing about powdered mask, they're a little messy. I, I definitely want to get into some more of the talking portion of this live show later after I show these products about what self-care really should look like for everybody. It's different, but how we should definitely go about it. So this is a clay mask that I got from a pot, an apothecary. Oxalo, oh, I can't pronounce nothing today. But it's from this right here, this place right here. And it's called the Wildflower, Wildflower Clay Mask. And so I've been looking for a like kind of face mask I can just take off. A lot of my face masks are leave-on, which leave-on masks are the best for sensitive skin, but um, I don't have a clay mask that I can just kind of like put on and detox and stuff like that. So this mask is for balancing and detoxing. Strong smell, but it smell the smell is like a spa. Like all of these um, beauty products that I've been showing you, more of like the face mask and serums and stuff like that, they all have this kind of spa smell to it, which is um, which is good and relaxing. I know this has notes of like eucalyptus and lavender in it, and we'll get into this in a second because it's not so much of a beauty product, but it's a home product. So this clay mask, plant to body. So we're dealing with natural stuff and you can read the ingredients on the back. Um, French green clay, um, flowers, essential oils, giving that uh, spa type smell, definitely lavender and it's organic so um again what i love to show clay masks are a little messy what i love to show when i'm have these products let's record screen is that you can always look up clay masks Wildflower clay mask, that's the one we have, is for balancing detox. Remember, self-care journey, we want to balance, we want to detox that negativity. This button over here, which says live video reviews, you can definitely click on that to see other people's opinions on the products. Um, And that's just a great way to figure out if you would like to purchase the product for yourself. So, going down... You can see the details um, and just other descriptions, the usage, care instructions, ingredients. And that's what I love to show on here, that you don't have to go in blind when you're purchasing a product, that you can actually do, like, quote-unquote research, but the research is all given to you. So it's a simpler, easier process. But I have been looking for a mask like this for sure. So switching the camera back on. Thank you for everybody who has joined the live show. I see some new joins. Um, We are talking self-care a little deeper than just the face mask and that journey, but we're definitely showing that that's an important part of the process. So um, the next product I have after this clay mask is these. The Indoor Under Eye Therapy. So I love under eye mask. Like, I don't know. I just feel like so much. I feel like brightened right there. And I don't know. It just makes my face feel like I'm glowing. So I definitely love a good eye mask on my self-care adventure. And with Endure, you can definitely. I say definitely a lot. What do you mean? 
But with Enduring, you can um, get multiple eye masks. So it comes in a box and you get multiple packets. I have not used these yet, but it comes with five packets. And so I can't wait to like have like my moment of peace where I do that. I don't know for anybody else if y'all do this, but when I set out a day where I'm going to do like the face mask, the mani pedi, um, the whole the whole shazam i'm lighting a candle i'm playing vibey music we're definitely getting into that mode relaxing clothing again i'm a fashion influencer i may not look like it now i may look, look very bummy right now but <laughs> i do um love just getting into a bummy fit or like a relaxing fit and just kind of like vibing out and having that moment of peace and the clay mask is everywhere, man. It's all over this table. I'm home for the holidays, so hopefully nobody get on me about leaving half a clay mask over that on the table. <laughs> but, um, and again, you can look up the ingredients and everything like this. I have not tried it on um, personally on my um, sensitive skin, but usually I don't have a problem or get irritation from things like eye masks. Um, especially in packets like this. So, okay, so this, it has a hydrating formula in it, again, giving you that glowy kind of feel um, on your face. So organic pineapple extract, organic cucumber extract, and organic aloe extract. You, This is a very, very hydrating formula. You have pineapple extract, cucumber extract, and aloe extract. It's good. Um, I mentioned before um, on my previous live shows that I do have eczema. So anything that says like hydrating, I'm all down for. I use a lot of, um, well, I used to use aloe products a lot more. Um, but I'm getting kind of more into like the cocoa butters and lotions and stuff like that. So I use less aloe kind of lotions. But I remember aloe worked really well for me. Didn't even know I had Fun fact, didn't even know I had eczema until I switched lotions. Let me tell you, if you have a lotion that you love, stick to it. <laughs> I switched lotions. It was a perfumey type lotion. I was like, oh, this would be cute. You know, I smell good. Da -da -da -da. I think my skin is fine. And not that fine. And that's when I figured out I had eczema. But this is a hydrating under eye mask, and we love to see it with those products in it. Again, the products are on the back, but sometimes I don't like to wait until I get the products in order to see what it has in it. Again, leading you to have the uh, option to look at all the available um, information on the app. So, yes, that's really it for this. Um, for the clay mask, I was supposed to show you guys this um, mask applier. So I got an application brush that was supposed to be really good for like masks like this. You can, um, put it in a little container and mix up your mask and stuff like that. Supposed to be a simpler, no mess process by getting, cause you get, you put your hands in the clay and it gets all messy and you know, that, that, that is not balancing. That's not self care when we're mad cause we got clay all over our hands or can't get the clay off. So I definitely have an applicator brush that I will show maybe in a post on the app. So stay tuned for that. Lastly, when it comes to um, skincare type beauty, I got these um, daily, daily face moisturizers from Ghost Democracy. And I got these actually in the live show I'll show you tonight. I got a product from Youngblood. And I think it's Youngblood Beauty. Young blood beauty and basically i just got an eyeliner pencil a lip liner pencil but that's for tonight's live show it sounds like a broken record i hate that part of the song <laughs> but ghost democracy has sent these this is a daily voice face moisturizer and this is a hyaluronic acid serum again I talked about the earlier serum I have it's a vitamin c serum and it has the hyaluronic acid in there so um hyaluronic acid I want to say is good for 
like anti-aging, keeping the skin tight, keeping it glowy. So if you're looking for products like that, vitamin C serum may be a good choice. And again, trying out these Ghost Democracy packets that I got from purchasing from Young Boy Beauty. So um, definitely don't think when you buy on this site that it's like that you're going to get just one thing because the brands on the site really care about their consumers and they want to add different um, little products in there for you guys, like sample packets like these. I've gotten really nice letters written, like, with my name in it, like, Amara, thank you da, 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 for purchasing. So these brands really care about their consumer base and want you to have a great consumer experience and provide you with, like, extra products. Just so keep your eyes open. Okay. So I actually had left my self-care book in the other room, but I wanted to show this on the live show because I think it's important for the talking aspect of this live. So I will be right back. And I'm back. So <laughs> I got this book, A Year of Self-Care, and I did not get it on the app, I will say that, but I did want to kind of go through some of the points that it makes while... um after we discuss these products. So we know that self-care goes beyond just putting on the face mask, just having, let's see, practicing that, um, practicing your beauty and da da da, da. Self-care goes beyond that during the times when we feel stressed and overwhelmed. Those shouldn't be the only times where we implement a self-care routine. These should be daily practices, and they don't always have to be that manly and petty that we can splurge on. So um, this book basically dives deep into self-care on, like, a deeper level, taking, it into, taking into consideration your life, your goals, your wants and dreams. And that's why I love this book and wanted to mention it, um, because I didn't want you to think I'm just preaching that. So... <clears throat> Um, this book basically goes through a year of self-care starting January 1st, and the one thing that happens, the thing that happens every time you flip a page, so every single day from January 1st to December 31st, they have a task, basically, and if you're wanting to deepen your self-care journey deeper than the products and stuff like that, which I love definitely check out the self-care book a year of self-care by dr zoe shaw um who you can do the your skincare and your mani pedi days along with doing a day of um doing one of these tasks a day that they provide you in this book because i think the balancing of the two is very important i think the way you feel um comes out a lot from making yourself feel pampered and feel good and stuff like that it starts off your day or your week with a brighter attitude so for january 1st even though we're not on january 1st right now today it is goals 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 aspirational but still concrete are different from resolutions so you hear a lot about new year's resolutions and i did have the the idea of setting some for myself but I decided to set kind of loose but concrete goals at the same time because goals kind of scare me. Um, because when we set these goals, we kind of set an expectation for ourselves. And if we fall below the expectation, we can kind of beat up on ourselves about that. So if I'm setting a goal for myself, I'm setting something that is more an idea for myself of how I want to live rather than saying Tuesday, I want to go to the gym every Tuesday, Thursday, and I don't know, Friday, I want to go to the gym. Instead of saying something like that, I say, I'm going to start going to the gym each week. Now, how many times I go each week just depends on the mood or the feeling I'm in. But once I start going, I know, and once I get that kind of pressure, that weight off of me, I can say, hey, oh, I didn't present the last thing I talked about. But once I get rid of that pressure off of myself, oh, I did. 
once I get that pressure off of myself of that number, I can feel free to go and I'll probably even go more than the number I set for myself in a concrete goal type deal. Yeah. So that's just my best example of how I kind of um, further myself without saying specifically resolutions or specifically goals. I'm saying that I am going to do something. I do it. Um, but I put no pressure on myself to accomplish this by this time um, and this hour and this day because that weight can kind of get on you and you can um, deter yourself away from the actual purpose of why you set the goal. So definitely she starts off with some really great things going from January 2nd to I am affirmations and um a lot of live streamers on this show, I, I say a lot, but the a couple of live streams I've looked at, people go deep into saying affirmations afterwards. I value affirmations, and I think those are a great way to uplift your day and start off your day. Um, YouTube has so many affirmations. You can just look up anything, affirmations about money, affirmations about self-love, affirmations about anything you are desiring in your life and those really just help help you so i'm going to read the affirmation they give in this book and again these are i am affirmations but there are so many different ones so the i am affirmation they give in this book is i am a vessel of strength joy and resilience i fill up myself daily so that i can serve myself and my people the way in which i was created like a cocoon butterfly, I am growing and changing in the most beautiful ways. How did that fit so perfectly with my young butterflies in the beginning? Um, that's one of the reasons why I use that symbol or that imagery when I'm talking about um, my content and stuff like that. Because I think it's so beautiful, the process of how a butterfly comes to be going into being becoming what it is a beautiful butterfly so i'll read the i am affirmation one time and then we'll get into the other products and i'll get off the spiel but the i am affirmation i am a vessel of strength joy and resilience i fill up myself daily so that i can serve myself and my people in which i was created like a cocoon butterfly, I am growing and changing in the most beautiful ways. So I hope that little spiel resonated for some of y'all and that you could get um, a good idea of like how you want to move forward in 2022. I mean, we only have a couple of days left and I hope that everybody's looking forward to, you know, the new beginning, the change or have an idea of how they want to either further go down the path they're going on or change their path completely. You have that option and you are protected and you are safe here. So getting into the last product as we round out this live show. But before I actually say that, remember that every live streamer that views this live can get 15% off any of the live stream products I'm showing you here today and after 30 minutes after the live show you can also get a 15% off discount so definitely take advantage of that um you just came from spending big bank at the holiday season so if you want if you're looking for discounts this is an opportunity to definitely purchase and get your discount girl so the last thing we have here for you today is a home spray and let me be honest with you guys I was like a home spray. What is, let me present this. I was like a home spray. What's the difference between a home spray and an air freshener? I'm like, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, get you some Febreze and be fine. My roommate actually convinced me about the difference. She turned, um, she came home one day with a home spray. And I was like, okay, it's a home spray. What's the difference? The smell was impeccable. The smell lasted longer. It I just I just see the importance of it. And I see the importance of keeping your environment smelling good, feeling um, 
feeling clean and feeling like a place you want to be. So that is why I included it in this product lineup today because we're all talking about the self-love, the self-care, the self, the self, the self, be selfish because that is what we're talking about. Um, if you come home to a house that you enjoy, that you feel comfortable in, that smells good, that is clean, that is decorated the way you want to, that is all the things that make you feel good, you'll definitely be fine staying in your space, um, being in your own peace with yourself. I don't like to say being alone, but being in your own peace with yourself um, and just at ease. So I think that's important, especially for how hard we go in our daily lives, how much pressure we can put on ourselves to go home and feel that you can relax. And this home spray will help you do that. So like many of the products I mentioned before, the home spray has the spa type of smell. It has, it literally says, where does it say? I want to make sure I get all of the notes right. So... Scented in number 247, blending fresh, clean notes of thyme, eucalyptus, lavender, and lang lang. I don't know what lang lang smells like, but I know what thyme, eucalyptus, lavender, and all those clean notes smell like. And I am a big fan of clean and fresh scents, um, almost like laundry. And this is the laundress. So the Laundress Home Cleaning New York Home Spray, I would definitely, yes, it even says linens, furnishings, and rooms, so it has that clean linen smell to it because it's for those things. Um, I would definitely recommend getting something like this if you're looking for um, a scent that you can spray in your home that will last um, on beds, again, linens, furnishings, and rooms, couches, pillows all of that stuff. Um, there are different fragrances, I want to say, on the website, and we can check out those different fragrances with the little time we have left. So let's go. Uh, let me go. Boop. Let's see, home spray. Oh, is it not popping up? Let's see. Oh. I hope it's not out of stock. I hate showing y'all out of stock items. Um, and my guys, it looks, it looks, it seems to be. That we may be out of stock. Yes. We are, but definitely it things come back. I say definitely so much. Oh my. But <laughs> these sprays will most likely come back. Like a lot of things that are shown on this live show that have been out of stock have actually came back maybe um, in the next couple of weeks. Again, we're rounding out this Christmas season. So products would be kind of spare. Scarf. This is a little spray. And I like how it sprays. It like covers a lot of area. I don't know if you could see that on camera, but it kind of, sometimes with the air freshener, it can be a direct center point that it comes out of, but the spray kind of just moves throughout the room. And now I'm smelling it over here. And it's, yeah, it smells really calming. That's the, that's the way I can say it. Fresh, clean, calming are the three words I would use to describe this home spray. Well, I want to thank you guys for joining my live show today. Remember, I have another live show 
tonight all about lip care. We're going to be talking about lip scrub, lip liner, lipsticks, lip glosses, everything about the lips. <laughs> so thank you for joining this live stream. And don't forget about the six o'clock. Is it five or six? I can't remember right now, but five or six time slot tonight and the fashion time slot at 9 a.m. in the morning. Just click it, listen to it. It'll be a great way to wake up in the morning. Thank you for joining my live stream and I hope to see you at my two last live shows.